is up everybody today i'm doing an unboxing for my july 2021 package from vinegar syndrome uh i became a subscriber at the halfway to black friday sale this year i'll probably become a full-time subscriber next year but this is one that looks this box is actually pretty decent size um uh Considering they had three releases, this one I did get a few extras, so I'll just start, I guess. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Um, is that in its own separate bag here? Not really. Not really. Now this is something nice. Uh, if you guys saw my last video, the unboxing, this one had a huge dent in one of the corners. And I contacted them about it because it was actually just bothering me. And they sent me a new slip box for it. So props to them for their like literally epic customer service because that box corner was nailed. All I had to do was contact them and send them a picture of the damage. And they immediately responded and told me they would add this in my order this month. So that's cool. Um... Now, let's get on to the actual titles, if I can. If I can get them out of here without wrecking them. All right. First up, we got Killer's Delight. Uh, this one was actually probably the one I was least looking forward to until I read a bunch of reviews. Well, not a bunch of reviews, but I've seen a bunch of response about it, so. Ooh, that is fucking sweet. Um, yeah, that's. Actually, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this now, so. A couple of people I know said that it was, like, the highlight of the order, so. That's pretty awesome. Um, five girls this week. How many next week? So yeah, this this is like a serial killer movie, and I'm actually really looking forward to it. So cool, cool. Next up is the lamp. Oh, I thought this shit's gonna stop. Make a wish if you dare. This guy's like folded over. This this one is was actually. The one I was looking forward to most, but I actually don't know anything about it. I just thought it looked cool. I read the synopsis. It sounded pretty cool, so hopefully it's cool, too. There's not actually a weak title among these that I was like, eh, I don't think I need that or anything. Like, obviously, I get them all, but they all looked pretty good through the Fire. I don't know how good you can see that. It looks right on. And this one has one of those like fake worn out looks. And I'm not a super big fan of that. But some things never rest in peace. Um, so I see that in there. All right, yeah, looks good. Interested in this too is all like like I said, all of these look good. Um, hey, Rebel. Uh, sorry, my cat's interrupting me. Go away, buddy. Go away. Meow or not, don't go away. Okay, you stay there then. All right, though that's it for the. Vinegar Syndrome titles, but I do have a couple partner labels in here. I did pick up this 
just because I was missing it. I I couldn't get it during the halfway to Black Friday sale, so I got it now. And I mean, like after hearing Master Chaos's scathing review of it, I'm not really looking forward to it. Rebel. Rebel. Yeah, back off, dude. So, yeah, I guess we'll see. I'll watch it. Maybe review it on here. I don't know. I don't know how, how soon I'm going to watch it either. But, it looks alright. And it's Fun City Edition, and, like, I, I am a completionist on those, so I think I'm missing one title that I have coming next time, so... This is interesting. Um, walking the Edge. I, I'm not sure why I got a like a whole new thing for this. I didn't reorder it or anything, and I've seen some other people with it, and they just just got a replacement disc. So I don't know why I got the set. I mean, it looks like it's a little crushed, but. I guess that's cool. I'll probably. I don't know why that is. But I haven't even watched this yet, so I'm looking forward to watching it. Hopefully, it's good. This one I actually think will be good for sure. Like, so hopefully, it's everything I think it's going to be. And there's a replacement disc. So now I'm like super confused. Uh, that's really, really weird. I don't know why that happened. I did not reorder this movie. I know for sure I did not. So, okay. Maybe I'll contact them and figure out what happened there. All right, now, Deadlock. This is the new label from them, Subculture. Let's see if I can get that on there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know, it looks a little dark. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't, this is real thick. Uh... Actually, that's really cool. Um, yeah, 4K. Uh, I don't know why this is in a clear case with it being a 4K release. And it's like a thick clear case, which I hope can fit into the VSA slipcover protectors because... I like having all mine in protectors. Otherwise, I'm going to have to find a new size if they're all going to be this size. Um, but actually, this one, this, this, I ordered this immediately. Like, as soon as they got it on there, I was like, that looks sweet. I know it's not quite like Western, but it is like a neo Western type movie. So, looking forward to that. And lastly, another one that I ordered immediately, Rancho Deluxe, Jeff Bridges. Uh, this movie was another one of the partner rele releases that I was like, need it, gotta have it, added it to the cart. In fact, this one in Deadlock, I put in the cart at the same time and just checked out right away because I knew I was getting them, so... Rancho Deluxe. All right, and that is all. Uh, that is it for my. I don't get that walking the edge part, but there we have it. Until next time, guys. Have a good one.